Hey guys, this is uh, Tom from WinRumors. Just going to have a quick look at the WhatsApp uh, Messenger app for Windows Phone 7. So you can see I've installed it and um, it's got a live tile on the uh, start screen here. So we just launch that. And what you'll see is it's pretty identical to the equivalent on the Android or iPhone devices. So what you'll get listed here is all your favourites. Um, now these will populate out of your contact list so you'll basically get anyone who's actually got WhatsApp installed will be listed here. So similar to the iPhone version and the Android version. Um, if you scroll across you get all of your contacts. And you scroll across and you get your chats. Um, now group chats work here. So we can go in here and you can see that multiple people are in the group there. Um, and also the normal sort of one on one chats work as well. Now you can go in here and send send messages. Now these messages are all sent over the, the data connection, so they're all free. Um, you can also sh send your location. So I've just sent the location there, and that will show you that on a map. Um, and you can also send attachments, which is just literally images. So we can go in and send an image, and that should start sending the image now. Now, when you um, when you actually come out of the app, if you receive a message, um, you'll get a little you'll get the standard sort of notification in the similar way as the SMS, or you get a, a sort of badge icon on the actual icon there. So you can see it up the top, you get the, the actual message, and you get a badge. So you can actually quickly just tap straight back into the app. And that'll load up the messages as normal. And you can see that there. Um, the app does support um, Mango's sort of multitasking features, so you can quickly switch back into the app and get your messages. Now, there's not too many application settings. It's literally just uh, been able to change your name and whether you get push for incoming messages.